Hi friends, I'm Gio, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do chapter 16 for the dark. It's a hard chapter to write because there were so many people to include and so many things that were happening. I hope I pulled it off. You'll have to let me know. Anyway, let's get started. Central Dome, the CNC Tower. Rias. What do you mean the scans are gone? Emilio shouted. We sat in the CNC conference room, staring at the blank wall monitor. Emilio sat at the head of the large 20-person circular table, but only nine seats were taken. Carla Perez, Tristan Busto, and Roldan de la Fuente sat on his right. With Perlita de Leon, Gutierrez, Ian, me, and Elias on the left. I don't understand, Gutierrez said. We transmitted it as soon as we were in range of Madre. If something had happened to the original transmission, the shuttle should still have the copies, Ian said. Carla placed her data pad on the table. I thought that somehow the data might have been corrupted. Logical. Our main data storage is a decade past its prime, Roldan said. Agreed, but that wasn't the problem. We received the transmission, we received the scans and the logs. I took a look at them, focusing on the nearest incursion. In the last few minutes, all of them disappeared. I've accessed the logs on the shuttles and found them also erased. We have records that there were incoming files, but as of a few minutes ago, those files and logs no longer exist, except in our memories, Carla said. I don't know why you wanted me here, Perlita said, arms folded. You fired me, remember? Emilio sighed and said, Help solve the problem, and I'll talk to Mr. Gunther about you getting your old job back, or report at once to the kitchens in South Dome. I can't cook, Perlita said. Then they'll teach you how to wipe down tables, Gutierrez said. Face it, Perlita, you got yourself on Mr. Gunther's bad side, Carla said. If you don't like those options, Emilio is always looking for help with South Dome sewers. Emilio, I'll stay, Perlita said. What do you want me to do? Give me ideas, people. What's going on? Emilio said. Ian and Gutierrez thought they sent the files, but didn't coordinate with Madre, Tristan said. I've already seen them, so they were uploaded and received, Carla said. Everything on the shuttle and in the CNC have one thing in common. Madre. Tristan, why would Madre erase everything? I asked. Madre's systems are working normally. There's no problem, Tristan said. Say that when you have a dagger riding your tail. Madre is not working normally, Gutierrez said. They shot me down once, and I don't want them to do it again, Ian said. There's something seriously wrong here. Emilio, maybe we need to shut down Madre and run a line-by-line -line diagnostic, I said. That would take days, maybe weeks. I think all of you are overreacting, Tristan said. If Madre says there are no files, then there are no files. Do I have to repeat myself? I read them, Carla said. Carla, what time did all this start happening? I asked. You're listening to Rias? That's a mistake. He's never been trained in AI protocols or security measures, Perlita said. Madre doesn't make mistakes. It follows orders. Perlita, we have a critical situation here, Carla said. Don't act stupid. Rias and his data pad are light years ahead of our old Madre. Ian took hold of my hand for a second and gave it a squeeze. He whispered, show off a little. Ian had said that the data pad had been fighting with Madre. I opened up my personal log. Madre had tried to delete recent files from my data pad. That meant Madre had snooped through every system, hunting those files, and systematically erased them. A tedious high-speed task that an AI excelled at except Madre couldn't get through my dual AI processor. Carla, Ian downloaded the last 24 hours of scans and logs into my data pad for me to look at tonight. Let's see what's so important about them, I said. My data pad interrupted me. Incoming directive from Madre. It is coded with administrator-level authority. It wishes to delete recent files. 
Should I comply? My datapad said. Datapad, complete Madre lockout. Emilio, Madre is trying to delete files again, and it is using top-level security clearance. Your clearance. Did you authorize it? I asked. No. There's your proof, Tristan, Emilio said. Somebody is using administrator clearance to do this, I said. I pretended not to notice the glare coming from my aunt. In Gutierrez, exactly what were on those scans. Gutierrez swiped on his data pad, shaking his head. During the flight to Smiling and back, we picked up an object following us. It appeared 17 times on the flight down, and only once on the flight back. It knew the edge of our sensor range, and stayed there. If we didn't have your data pad warning us, we would never have known, Ian said. We uploaded the files as soon as we got in range of Nuestra, Gutierrez said. Sometime within the hour before the meeting, Emilio said, the files you sent disappeared. Rias, are they still in your data pad, or did Madre wipe them out too? Ian asked. They are safe. That's why Madre keeps attacking. Carla, were the backup copies of transmissions received wiped clean as well? I asked. I'll check, she said. Madre, where did the deletion order for the shuttle logs and files originate? I asked. There is no deletion order, Madre said. Can an AI get senile, Elias said. Datapad, where did the deletion order come from? I asked. One moment, my datapad said. I glanced over at Ian, and he mouthed, what's going on? Madre keeps backups of all files, even those deleted. If you sent something, it must have been garbled, and Madre considered it random noise and deleted it, Tristan said. It's not supposed to do that, Emilio said. All transmissions, both in and out of the colony, should be on file. Conversations continued around me, but I didn't pay attention. I zoned into the project and did what I had to do. I ignored everybody, and just like Doc and his cart, I didn't ask anybody's permission. Carla sent a message to my data pad. I set up a side partition to keep Madre from getting in and opened up the message. The message said, Backup copies of transmissions received are missing too. Madre was thorough. I sent back. Understood. Have any other files gone missing in the last 30 days? This will require a comparison search between two sets of data. You'll have to give me a couple of minutes, Carla sent back. Current deletion orders originated in Madre control my datapad said, and it gave a terminal number. Send the terminal number to Emilio, I said. Rias, I'll have to do some checking, but I have around 30 possible deletions, Carla said. I have a theory about the Adi Shachar that might be true here, and if it is true, it would explain why a dagger was outside Nuestra, Ian said. I'm listening, Emilio said. Datapad, do a high-speed scan of the first two hours of the last flight of Shuttle 2, did we intercept any transmissions? Ian said. It took ten seconds. Affirmative. Shuttle 2 intercepted a coded transmission. I reached over and took Ian's hand. Datapad. Play transmission. A ten second burst of electronic noise came from my datapad. I stared at my boyfriend, suddenly afraid. He, Gutierrez, ten miners, Shuttle 2, and all the ore it was carrying could have been destroyed. I shouldn't have eaten breakfast because I don't think it's going to stay down. That's an AI encryption using rotating algorithms, Carla said. I have a couple of programs I can run it through, but you'll have to give me a couple of hours. There's your proof, Tristan. We have at least one trader, and they are using Madre to send coded messages and wipe certain files out of existence, Emilio said. The entire room became quiet. Why didn't they destroy us? Gutierrez asked. Because he or she expected Madre to wipe the files, Elias said. Why make any noise when the trader can solve the problem quietly? I bet it's been happening for the last year or two, and they finally made a mistake and got caught. The mistake was when they blew up the Adi Shachar. That means that the dagger was waiting for a message, and the Adi Shachar got a copy of it, Ian said. That changes things. Carla and Tristan, disable Madre from the exterior comm network, effective immediately. Somebody has subverted Madre. How did they do it? Emilio asked. Once again, I ignored everybody. What I suspected was too horrible. It couldn't be true. Could it? I grabbed Ian's hand and held it in a death grip. Carla, I sent. Was there any transmissions on the day the Adi Shachar crashed? 
I'll get back to you, she sent. We can't take the comm network down. We need it for incoming traffic, for data pad communications, for coordination of the trams and crawlers and grav lifters, Tristan replied to Emilio. Tristan, so we let the traitor have free reign through all of Madre, Elias said. He has hurt us, killed a man, put a couple in the hospital, destroyed a ship, and you want to let him get away with it? Who knows what he's stolen and what he's taken from us and who else he'll kill, Gutierrez said. Focus, people. We can't afford to get angry. Perlita, you send jump gate instructions all the time. I want you to go through the records and see if somebody piggybacked transmissions with yours. But do it without Madre, Emilio said. Time frame? She asked. Let's go with a year, Emilio said. That will take days, Perlita said. I went back to the logs Ian had saved on my data pad while I waited for Carla. The information was safe, but to be secure, I set it in its own locked subfile. Once the information was completely secure, I queued read-only retrieval to my data pad. Each time the incursion happened, my data pad had marked and time-stamped it. Data pad, time to have some fun. Sync with the holographic projector, place all incursion and sensor scans on top of each other, and create a three-dimensional view. The projector lit up, and in a second, the images swirled together. A rose and a 3D puzzle all at once, Ian said. If I didn't suspect what it was, I'd say it's kind of pretty, Carla said. I still don't think Madra could be taken over, Tristan said. It's the image is too little, Ian said, pointing at a point on this side. Datapad, make it a meter long. The image enlarged. Datapad, I said, I'm looking for other ships. Put in ghost images, sensor echoes, anything. Was there another ship? Carla sent a message. Two transmissions, both several hours before the Adi Shachar crashed. One incoming, one outbound. There is no way to tell what was in them. My gut sickened. I think I knew what was in one of them. Poor Ian. How do I find out if I'm right? I nodded and stood, leaning on the table for support. I used my hands to play with the images, and the data pad was sensitive enough that it followed my motions and adjusted the hologram as if I were touching it. Look at that, Perlita. I told you that Rias and his data pad were ahead of anything Madre could do, Carla said. Data pad, finalize image, I said. It formed a ship, a Dagger XF, then a second ship further out, but it was less distinct. I should not have eaten today. Ian had flown past them without realizing it. Of the twelve possible daggers a Hades Inferno carrier could carry, two were just outside of Nuestran sensor range. I had to sit down. The man I loved could have been killed by those monsters. My legs started shaking, and I grabbed Ian's hand and held it close to my heart. I think Ian must have felt the fear in me. He whispered, I'm here. I'm okay. I couldn't lose him. He was the only thing I had to live for. Rias, Elias whispered, I don't like your readings. Are you okay? Before I could answer, the holographic image blinked out. What happened to it? Roldan said. Datapad? I asked. Madre deleted all files and short-term memory stored in the holographic projector, my datapad said. A seek and destroy application, Carla said. That's a cyber warfare program. You forget, the raiders have never bothered us. We go about our business, they go about theirs, my aunt said. They destroyed my ship and killed my friend, Ian said. One person died, Perlita, and three almost did, Carla said. Maybe you haven't noticed but your nephew might be walking around, but he is still critical, Elias said. Emilio, you'll have to trust me on this. Put Madre to life support mode only, I said. Are you insane, Tristan said. Madre runs everything. I guess it was time to let out my secret. What makes my data pad unique is the two AI modules I have placed in it. I call it my dual AI processor. Because of that, I can sync with anything that has an AI, as long as it is in range of my data pad. I should have known, Gutierrez said. You'd put an AI in a toothbrush if you could. That's impractical. I'd have to use one of the smaller AI modules, like one for a grav lifter, and it would require heavy modification, I said. Good lord, Rias, he was joking, weren't you? 
Elias said. Could they be using an enhanced data pad to influence Madre, like yours? Ian asked. That way they could influence Madre, receive and send covert transmissions, and hide their tracks from anywhere in the domes. Emilio, I wouldn't ask if this wasn't critical. My data pad can't seek out nearby AI modules with Madre active, and I suspect someone is running an enhanced data pad to handle all this. Give me 15 minutes, I said. Once again, Rias has to screw things up, Perlita said. I'm finding a murderer, and Emilio, Madre is using administrator priority. All the people who have that priority are in this room, I said. Tristan's right. It will cause problems, Emilio said. Rias, are you sure you're up for this? Because I don't like your readings, Elias said, looking at his data pad. Alert, my data pad said. Madre is attempting to delete files. It is now one million requests per second. Further attempts to remote interface with other objects may result in compromise of functions. Until further notice, permanent denial of access. This I did not like. Emilio, Madre is deliberately attacking my system with a DOS attack. DOS, Elias said. Denial of service, Carla said. Emilio sat back. Tristan, explain. That interrupted the argument he was having with Carla. What are you talking about, Tristan said. Madre has wiped the logs from the shuttles, deleted communications logs, the files that were in those logs, and any location those files were sent. How? Emilio asked. That's not possible, Tristan said. Rias, you better be right. Tristan, shut down Madre for 15 minutes, Emilio said. I won't. That will disrupt tram service, atmospherics, anything you can name. So no, Tristan said. It's the only way, I said. Understood, Emilio said. Give me options, Tristan, or shut Madre down. Once again, your godson gets to do anything he wants, Perlita said. I'm with Tristan on this. At least Rias is contributing, Elias said. Tristan, you will shut down Madre for 15 minutes, and I want a complete diagnostic of our AI. Something is interfering with its function, and I want to know what and who. You will search its primary code and find out what has been done to it, Emilio said. Stood, and walked over to the monitor. Tristan set down his data pad. That will take days and impact the entire dome. We could take the entire Madre system offline and reboot from factory specs, I said. That's extreme, Perlita said. We'll need help from Campbell Station and maybe the R&D division. Emilio furrowed his brow and scowled. Then he said, It is extreme, but so is the situation. Carla, examine all transmissions for the last year. How long has this been going on? Check jump gate logs, erased files, lost transmissions. We have a huge problem. What kind of access would this person need to do this? Only command staff can authorize a deletion, Carla said. Like Rhea said, we are all here, Emilio said. Let's try another tactic that isn't so extreme, I said. Carla, check records. Who ordered AI modules within the last year or two? Or what happened to the salvaged ones? Let's start with salvage. Over the years, we had three crawler AIs available, which you took. Since you put two in your data pad, I bet you put the other one in your dad's arm. Talk about overkill. I bet you'd use a focused nuclear explosion to pull a weed out of the hydroponic bed, Carla said. Elias and Gutierrez snickered. Gutierrez said, I'd bet Rias put the one from his dad's arm into Ian's arm. Ian flexed his arm. And worth it, too. We also had a recent industrial AI module from a cargo hauler that's not cleared due to radiation contamination. Functionality is uncertain. Guess where that came from? Any others sent to salvage were unusable scrap, Carla said. What about any new ones? Emilio asked. Maintenance ordered seven to replace worn-out ones in the mines, approved by Perlita. They were of the smaller variety, grav lifters and such. Doc ordered a smaller one to update some type of surgical equipment. Approved by Emilio, Madre Control ordered five medium-sized ones, the kind used in crawlers within the last two years, all ordered by Tristan Busto and approved by Perlita, though it doesn't say what they were used for. I don't understand. Madre Control is an industrial-sized custom colony unit. Why would they need smaller units? Gutierrez asked. Good question. Tristan, what did you use them for? Emilio asked. Various uses, but I don't remember the exact details, he said. 
Perlita, what did he tell you? Carlita asked. Routine maintenance, I think, Perlita said. I guess the adrenaline was flowing because I stood up. I had one way of finding an enhanced data pad, but Emilio might not approve. Once again, I dove in without permission. I bumped my data pad against Dean's, Elias's, and Gutierrez and got a full readout of their systems. No AI or enhanced systems. Basic models connected to Madre. Emilio would yell at me for the invasion of privacy, but Ian had almost died. Privacy be damned. I walked over to Carla, as if I needed to talk to her. I bumped my data pad to hers. A regular data pad, though it had extended memory, which made sense considering her job. She had more than a million files. I tapped Emilio's. Just like Carla's, it was a basic model with extended memory and a million files. Next to Carla sat Tristan. I leaned on the table as if to catch myself. Tristan moved over a little. I bumped my data pad to his. Emilio, Tristan has an enhanced data pad, single AI, and is using a low-grade non-standard decryption software. Carla should be able to break it. Then I tapped Carla's data pad again. Here's a copy of all the files he has stored on his data pad. Some of them look like transmissions, I said. How did you do that? That's an invasion of privacy, he yelled. Emilio, are you going to allow this? I see the files you mean. It will take a few minutes, Carla said. Stop playing favorites, Emilio, Perlita said. Rias might be your godson, but he has no right. I want legal representation now, Tristan said. Emilio, Carla will have to confirm. But it's one of the AI modules that Tristan didn't remember what he did with, I said. I guess Madre senility is contagious, Gutierrez said. Security, CNC tower immediately, Emilio said. Carla, I want to see exactly what's on that data pad. This is a violation of privacy, Tristan screamed. I tapped my data pad to the person sitting next to Tristan. Rolled on De La Fuente. No AI and no enhancements. Also, no encryption. Rias, anyone else? Emilio asked, mouth grim. Perlita picked up her data pad and clutched it close. Stay away from me. I demand legal representation now. I walked towards her. Ian stood behind her and blocked her from backing up. Aunt, did you murder Robinson? I asked. No, she said. I tapped my data pad to hers. Tap. The readout was instantaneous. Emilio, Perlita has an AI enhanced data pad, also with one of the new AI modules. It's also been updated with additional communication range and extended storage. This is an unlawful search, Perlita screamed. The legal department will hear about this. Emilio, I want Rias arrested for this and you will lose your job for allowing it. This is a violation of corporate protocol. Datapad, did these datapads send any external messages on the day the Adi Shachar crashed? I asked. Affirmative, my datapad said. Stop this at once, Perlita screamed. Play, I said. They are encrypted files, my datapad said. Now the part that would get me in serious trouble, as if I wasn't already. I'd been breaking Doc's encryptions for years to see mine and my dad's files. It was the easiest way to learn about cybernetics and what settings to set dad's arm at. Right now is the first time I used it on somebody else's files. Looking at my own files was unusual, but I had the right. With Perlita's, it would be a crime. But Ian and Rohan had almost died. Robinson had died. I was almost dead. So what's stopping me? A tiny bit of conscience. Emilio, I am about to commit a crime. I'm sorry, but I suspect something, and I have to know if I'm right, I said. We have to know, Ian said. I want to know, too. I am authorizing it, Emilio said. Datapad. Decrypt transmission sent from the day the Adi Shachar crashed and play on holographic projector, I said. The legal department will hear about this. Mr. Gunther will hear about this. This is a violation of my corporate rights. I demand that you stop and get me legal representation now, Perlita screamed. Transmission decoded. It is 11 seconds in length. Accessing holographic projector, my datapad said. An image of Perlita hung in the air. 
she said. It is unfortunate, but we have no other choice. I authorize the complete destruction of the Adi Shachar. They must not get to the jump gate. I fell back against the table to keep from falling to the floor. I think I'm going to be sick. Tristan, Perlita, what have you done? Emilio shouted. Elias' dad had screamed. Rias Travieso's vital signs have reached critical levels. Nanite colony infrastructure failing. Madre, contact medical and tell them to prep for emergency incoming, Elias shouted. Carla, I need full communications now, Emilio said. Carla nodded. Nuestrans, we have an emergency. Madre has been compromised by traitors and we must shut it down. You have one minute to get out of the tram and get to safety. Full details coming. Emilio out. Carla, send out an emergency distress beacon to Campbell Station. With all logs, priority alert, I yelled. Yes, sir, she said. Security, detain everyone who works in Madre control, plus Perlita and Tristan. Separate them all from their data pads, Emilio said. The colony can't function without Madre. You don't dare shut it down, Perlita said. We don't dare leave it on, Gutierrez said. I agree, Emilio said. Madre, administrator override. Complete emergency shutdown to life support levels. Authorization confirmed. Initiating complete shutdown to life support levels in ten seconds. Ten, Madre said. Perlita almost killed twelve people and a cat. She did kill Robinson. She almost killed Ian and Rohan and Carruthers and all the rest of the crew. The Adi Shachar was old. It wasn't one of the sleek Terran models, but she was a good ship. Perlita had destroyed her. Nine, Madre said. Betraying the colony like this and interfering with its function, I'd be surprised if you didn't get the death penalty, Gutierrez yelled. Eight, Madre said. Ian collapsed. He had gone white. Gutierrez caught him to keep him from falling. Perlita almost killed the man I love. Because of her, I'm dying. Seven, Madre said. Murderer, I screamed, and with my adrenaline surging, I lunged at my aunt. She would pay for what she had done. Six, Madre said. Datapad, initiate fallen apple, Tristan yelled. Five, Madre said. Command received, Tristan's datapad said, initiating. Thank you, friends, for being with me and listening to this chapter. I appreciate it. As I said, this was a hard chapter because there was so many people talking and so many things happening. You wouldn't believe how many re how many times I had to rewrite it. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Peace.